So bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyid al-Mursaleen Muhammadin al-Ameen amma ba'd. It is important to keep our eyes on some personalities. And just like the Qur'an teaches us uh, specifically about people like Abu Lahab and Fir'aun and so on and so forth. And so we must identify people like Qarun and people like Hamman and people like Fir'aun, people like Abu Lahab and others, we must identify them in our situation. And we must identify uh, the people and the groups uh, as the Qur'an identifies them. Okay, And so over here, I want to share with you a tweet that Elon Musk wrote. First he said, uh, if I die under mysterious circumstances, it's been nice knowing you all. Knowing you. Okay? It's been nice knowing you. Okay, if I die under mysterious circumstances, which often happens with people that are in occult sciences and so on and so forth, but I'm not going to talk about that. But uh, one Muslim brother, he tweeted this and then he got an answer from Elon Musk. What did he write? He wrote, you won't die before your day, Elon, meaning, of course, as a Muslim, everyone has their day. No matter what happens, you don't go before that day. Anyhow, you are slash were a unique figure in this world. I'm only wondering one thing. It's an interesting thought. As a genius, haven't you found out that there is a great creator in this world yet? So this would be an interesting question, right? If you did, make sure you confess this before your last heartbeat. Bless you. What does Elon Musk say? He says, thank you for your blessing, but I'm okay with going to hell. If that indeed is my destination, since the vast majority of all humans ever born will be there. Now, the surprising part is not where he says, oh, you know, I'm okay with going to hell. That's surprising, but not that surprising. What is more surprising is what? He seems to be saying something the Qur'an is saying, that the vast majority, not vast majority as in literally, but a large portion of humanity is destined to go to the hellfire. It's in the Qur'an. That Allah took a promise that he'll fill the hell with human beings. Because Allah knew in his knowledge that human beings are going to make a wrong choice. Many of those that go to hell will finally end up in paradise. But the point being here that he says, thank you for the blessing, but I'm okay with going to hell. A lot of people will say, I'm okay with going to hell. But his explanation of why he's okay going to hell, if that is indeed my destination, since the vast majority of all humans ever born will be there. That is the interesting one. But there's something more to this person. As I said, the Qur'an wants us to understand the people around us, important people around us, in the context or through the filter and the lens of Qur'an. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I want to share a few things with you that might be of interest to you. Now, for a world and the richest people in the world to say something like, I'm okay with going to hell, after being asked directly that, you know, do you believe in God? And he didn't say, I believe in God. He said, I'm okay with going to hell. Now, we can analyze this from many perspectives. This means that he knows that there's a God and this means that he knows there's a heaven and so on and so forth. And we can feel bad for him for being so blind and stupid. Uh, but from a worldly perspective, he's a genius. But I want to go beyond that for a little bit. Okay. And so let's look at uh, another aspect of this from a Quranic uh, perspective. What is very interesting is one of his companies. Now, he's bought Twitter, but uh, he has made this car called Tesla. Tesla. Which is from an Arabic word called Tasla. Okay, Tesla 
uh, is also considered a certain amount of energy, but it means to burn. Okay, tasla means to burn. And see that the principle that I'm sharing with you is this, is that every word of the Quran is true. Every letter of the Quran is true in all its shapes and forms. And so if the word tasla, tasla naran hamiya, if the word tasla, which means to burn, if it comes in Quran, then it must somehow be related with Tesla, and it must somehow be related with the person who owns Tesla. So now let's look at uh, a few things. So let me start by uh, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad mentioning this that the word Tasla or Tesla is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Al Ghashiyah. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tasla naran hamiya. Okay? Tasla means to burn. Naran means fire. Okay? So Tasla will burn. Okay? So Tasla will burn. It's in the Quran. So Tesla, the car, is going to burn. And if you look at uh, what has been uh, happening, okay, and so here's the verse in the Quran Tasla naran hamiya. It's going to burn in a scorching fire. Okay. And you can also see, uh, for example, and so this is an example of uh, how the car Tesla catches fire because that's what its name is. And that name is mentioned in the Quran. And so it burns. Okay. And uh, Tesla Model S played reportedly catches fire in Pennsylvania. And this has been happening now uh, off and on. Why Tesla, GM, and other uh, electric volt companies have a fire problem, okay? Video shows Tesla Model S bursting into flames. Tesla owner saves BMW driver seconds, etc., etc., okay? All reported Tesla fires, okay? So these are the Tesla fires. Tesla sedan burns for four hours after a crash. Uh, Tesla Model S garage fire follows pattern prompting warnings. Ignore the hype. Spontaneous Tesla fires are incredibly rare. Somebody is saying, but Quran says it does happen. It's going to happen in this life and the next life. Look, he is, he is Tesla, right? He's Tesla. He is the owner of, uh, this quality of the hellfire. And for which he was saying he's fine going there, you know, Tesla Naran Hamia, he's fine. Tesla top uh, of range car caught fire while owner is driving. Tesla Model S played caught fire while being driven. Tesla in Pennsylvania catches fire. This must be the same. So you get the point, right? So this is some of the the pictures, as you can see, of the Tesla car. Uh, you know. Uh, spontaneous fires happening out of these cars and that's you know that's just uh, going to happen because you name something uh, with uh, whatever um, you have uh, you call this car company Tesla well it's going to burn because it's burning money too it's not just burning the cars from time to time it's also burning money and that's what Tesla is doing it's burning money so Tesla is burning cash next few quarters, crucial to fixing whatever problems they have. Tesla doesn't burn fuel, it burns cash, okay? The company burns through more than 7430 $7, every minute, okay? So how much cash is it burning? Uh, inventory build uh, up led the company to burn through almost 895 million in cash during the period okay so uh and then this you know tesla pulled off uh pulled this off despite taking a loss of 23 million in its big bitcoin bet etc etc so uh my prediction uh for tesla the car is that it's going to burn and it's going to go down and it's never going to really succeed but that's not the main point. But I did want to raise this connection between the Quran and the word Tesla and Tesla. So 
anytime you know you whenever i see anybody driving a tesla it reminds me of the ayah of the quran tasla nar and hamia i would very be very scared to drive a tesla car into a masjid you know and uh, but uh, it is what it is uh, may allah protect all the muslims who have this car uh, but uh, there is a, a in, indirect warning there in the Quran for you and an indirect warning to Elon Musk who seems to love Hellfire so much and so he, one of his uh, companies has been uh, mentioned in the Quran as part of the Hellfire maybe that has something to it now for the people that listen to me is this information or is this knowledge this is something you can say in between it's not information because it's connected to the Quran. It's not exactly knowledge because the level of interpretation is making a jump. I will explain that one day. But anyhow, what comes in Quran is true in all shapes and forms. And the Quran is timeless. So let us now continue to understand something else. This man who owns Tesla Elon Musk, who doesn't mind being in the hellfire because majority of the people will be in the hellfire. I wonder if one of the jinns told them this. But what is very interesting is what he thinks about AI, artificial intelligence. So before I continue, Bismillah, before I continue, I want to mention, number one, make sure you subscribe. Number two, read the comment section. If you want to support and donate, help me uh, out in the projects I'm doing, that would be great. And the main point I want to mention is this. Suppose there's a man <coughs> on a train who doesn't have a working mind. He's on the train and he tells the people on the train, I make this train go and stop. So now he's going on the train and he says, you know what, should I make this train stop? He asks the people and he starts pounding on the train. Stop, 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 stop. And the train comes to the subway station where the train is supposed to stop. People come off, people come on. And he hits the train a couple of times and the train stops. It just happened to be at the station. And he says, see, I made the train stop. And then... Uh, he says, should I make the train go? He starts banging on the train again, and the train start, starts to move again. This person who thinks he's doing this, this is how these people like Elon Musk are. They're crazy people who think that they're actually ruling the world. And they think that they are in charge of everything that is going on. They think that they're, they're, they're like, they think they're gods. And so, anyway... Uh, voices like this that try to connect the, the, the Qur'an to current events, they're very few. So if you can subscribe to the channel. And more important is that if this becomes an inspiration for you to learn the Arabic language, to learn, to the, to learn the Qur'an, to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then that would be great. Okay, inshallah. So definitely subscribe and read the comment section. See if you want to join my Telegram uh, channel. And <clears throat> if you need counseling information, you can also find that there, inshallah. Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi He wants restrictions regarding artificial intelligence. He feels like it's like conjuring up demons, meaning it has to do with the jinn world. Of course, going into space, which is his other company, SpaceX, is also indicated in the Quran. If you have the ability, you think you have the ability to escape earth where we put you? I made you as a vice regent on earth? You think you're going to escape earth? Oh no, that ain't going to happen. Right? And so uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in Surah Rahman, O society of jinn and men, you cannot pass through the bounds of the heavens and the earth and go ahead and go ahead and pass. And you will not be able to pass except with Sultan. Which of your Lord's powers do you deny? 
we're going to bombard you with flames of fire, which connects with Tuslanar and Hamia. You're going to lose your money. Your money will go wasted. You will burn. You'll burn in the hellfire and you're burning in this world. Okay? يُرْسَلُ عَلَيْكُمْ أَشْوَادٌ مِّنْ نَارٌ وَنُحَاسٌ فَلَا تَنْتَصِرَانٌ and you will not succeed. You will not be helped in your endeavors. You're not going to get any help from Allah. You're going to. And what is very interesting? Mind you, please. What ayah number is this? Ayah number 33. And now remember, what is the highest degree of Freemasonry? Okay, let me share that with you. Uh, over here, inshallah. Let me share this with you. What is the 33rd? So that's I number 33 going into sky, right? And being in the sky, what is a what is a 33 degree master mason? A 33 degree mason ma mason is a master mason who has exhibited knowledge, passion, and sacrifice for his craft. A supreme council awards 33 degrees, 33rd degree as a way of honoring outstanding selfless work performed in a right for public service okay so about they choose about a hundred people every year to go to the 33rd uh, degree okay and 33 degree mason mason ancient accepted scottish right okay and this has something to do with the temple of Suleiman which i'm not going to go into right now but 33 remember this i am number 33 elon musk says he doesn't mind going to the hellfire and what does Allah say? If you try to pass the boundaries of the heavens and the heavens and the earth, what will happen? You will be bombarded with flames of fire, okay, and brass. And you will not be helped. So which of your Lord's powers do you deny? And then even till that day where the sky splits, you will not be able to. You will not. SpaceX will be a failure. And Tesla, the company, will be a failure. This is the future because everything, all technology is going to eventually fall. Because this is not sustainable. I'm not talking about that topic right now. But for the people that know, they know. People that have been listening to me, know. It's not sustainable what we're doing in the world right now. And so... Now let's come back to uh, 33 degrees of Mason. Okay. So now, by the way, this is a very side note, not my main. How much billions of dollars did they give to Ukraine? 33 billion. And also, let me show you uh, over here. I, I'll just mention this very quickly and then go back to the 33 point of 33. Okay, Elon Musk on artificial intelligence. We are summoning the demons. He's actually scared. He's scared he might just vanish one day, like he said in his Twitter tweet, right? That uh, if I just happen to spontaneously die in mysterious circumstances, then, you know, well, it was great knowing you. And then the person says, hey, do you happen to believe in God because you're a genius? And he says, ah, oh, nah, I'm, I'm fine being in hell, actually. Over here, again, Twitter set to accept Elon Musk's $33 billion bid for social media company today. So, <clears throat> 33 is, now here's the interesting part. How many times do we say subhanAllah in, after salah when we say subhanAllah, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. How many times? 33. So, it's a num all numbers are from Allah. Allah created all the numbers. Allah created all the numbers. But Shaitan wants to use some of those numbers. And some of those numbers have maybe some power. Maybe the number 33 has some power. So the Shaitan wants to use that number for his advantage. And so in Freemason, you have 33 degrees. And you are buying Twitter for 33 million or 33 billion. And then something, it's a little more than that 33 point. That was, it's rounded off to 33. Okay. And then. Ukraine is being given 33 billion. And this ayah that says, oh, these people want to go to the heavens. What do they think they are? Right? They're not going to succeed. Ayah number 33. Right? Ayah number 33. So, is there a connection here? Is the word Tasla and Tesla interrelated from the Quran? 
for me, every word of Quran is haq and true. And the Quran is timeless. And so it is always true. When you add all these points together, then you have to think, okay, maybe there's something going on here. Maybe I need to think deeper about what's going on in the world. Now let me share with you one thing. So the same Elon Musk who wants to buy Twitter, who wants to go to space, wants to work with the number 33, it seems like, he says, we are summoning the demon with artificial intelligence. And this is one of the goals of shaitan and one of the goals of Dajjal, which again, I'm not going to go into right now, but I'm just only pointing, hinting you towards something. Okay. One of the reasons to go to the sky is what? Is that after the Quran came down, the ability of the shayateen and the jinns to go to the heavens was removed. So now they want to sit in what Sutul Jinn calls Maqa'id al Samari. They want to sit in their places where they can hear the angels. They want to try to escape earth. This is the wish of the jinns because now they've been trapped in the earth after coming down of the Quran. So anyone who is working with NASA or any ideas of space travel really has to do with working with the jinn. And then, since this man uh, seems to be also uh, part of number 33 and whatever it represents, and that verse of the Quran that talks about ayah number 33 about leaving space, and since also he has, he's also dealing with electricity. So, what were their concepts about electricity? Electricity was considered a form of magic, a way of conjuring the shayateen and the jinns, and one has to ask. That is this 5G and electricity, all of this, does this help shaitan? After all, they are made from fire. And uh, so let me just share with you one of the things. Lester Crowley, who was a Satanist, very probably the most well-known Satanist, and Nikolai Telsa, the person who invented uh, the measurement of, of, and the, of, you can say, a measurement regarding energy, one degree of separation, occultist, inventor, and poet, Aleister Crowley, right? And, you know, it talks about him and his relationship with uh, the, um, the, the person who made the electricity. And then let me just quickly also mention this, that uh, scientist and spiritual seeker, okay, uh, he was a man of science, but he was also a man of occult. He believed in the occult sciences, worked with the occult sciences, and, uh, you know, just to uh, Telsa was not alone in connecting electromagnetism magnetism with occult. Okay. Uh, he wasn't alone, but there was an understanding that there's a relationship between the Shayateen and electricity. And we know, uh, and, and he, you know, uh, he, Telsa projects projects among other, among other predictions of the future. So he also predicted the future. These include in a novel that predicted future picture telephones. Okay. So he's using his occult and his gin work to predict the future. Air travel to Europe in a day. This is back in the day when that didn't happen. Hidden photo uh, phonographs with which police could trap criminals. Okay, the colonization of our solar system. So this is what the things, the type of things that he was uh, working about. But the main point being here, and I'm going to talk more about it, is that electricity and jinn. This changed the, wor the world, and this electricity uh, brightened up our world, gave it zina, gave it beauty, and took away the beauty in the inside of human beings. My question to you is, with what the Quran is saying, with the word, Tasla na and this man Elon Musk say, I'm okay with going to the hellfire. And the Quran saying, you will not be able to cross the boundaries of the heavens and the earth, no matter how much you wish. And you will be followed by flames of fire and brass, and you will not be helped. I predict, based upon this, even though 
It is, there is a ta'wil in this. There is an interpretative method in this that I feel that because of the number 33 and I number 33, because of the conversation about going to space, and because of tasla naran hamiya, and we can see that that's already happening with his cars. I believe that this man, Elon Musk, uh, is definitely, uh, the, all of this adds up to uh, him being a very sinister person with a very sinister agenda, according to the Quran. This is what I feel. I would like to know what you think and why. Okay? And Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.